Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here to do your little nightly check-in, right? Yay! This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Uh, just take what does resonate, Cancer. Toss out the rest, you know? Don't try to force what doesn't resonate with you into your life. Leave those messages for the people who need them, right? And thank you so, so very much, Cancer, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love this soul tribe, I gotta say. All right, so Cancer, um, and I picked up on that. I've been picking up on it for a couple of days now, actually. People are trash talking you. There's a lot of... Um, rumors going on about you uh people talking about you um gossip it's all being directed towards you and you just want to be left alone you're pushing these people back energetically you're like i just want people to leave me alone i feel like people are trying to dig into your information how much money you're making because that's on the bottom of the deck here but i feel like no matter what the and i'm hearing life is but a dream um yeah, I, I'm hearing the song, Life is but a dream, sweetheart. Yeah, that's the song that I'm hearing. I don't know who does it, though. <laughs> but yeah, um, the song I'm getting for you is Life is but a dream. Um, and I don't know all the, all the words, and I don't know who sings it, um, but that's what's popping into my head. Um, and I feel like you're out here living a dream life, and people are just talking about you, making up gossip, Probably half of it is lies because I really don't think you're a part of this group. Um, I feel like you're pulling your energy away. You're pushing these people back. And I don't think you're telling them anything, Cancer. I, I think it's just um, it's stuff that they're finding out about, though. And I feel like it's about your money. You're absolutely not affected. I feel like you're getting signs, synchronicities, um from the divine maybe even in music lyrics okay but right now your your life is like you're living a dream life and i feel like you're making really good money out here you guys are abundant look at you you're abundant and you're living peacefully i feel like you're going off alone um once you hit this passageway too that's it you enter a whole new life um, I feel like you guys may be exhausted, but, you you know, I'm seeing you out here being single. Just go into calmer waters. I, I don't understand what people are kind of, I don't know. It, it's almost like they're hungry for a story from you, Cancer, but you're not giving them one. You're not, you're absolutely not affected by this. I feel like you're focused on you and your abundance and your healing some of you could be moving away. Some of you could be going on a, on a vacation for yourselves just to get away and heal. I feel like you're still finishing up your healing cancer, taking time for yourself. You really don't want to have anything to do with these people. You really don't. So whoever this is talking about you, I feel like... Um, there may be one in your inner circle, but really for the most part, these are people that you want out of your life. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Yeah, you've walked away from these people. What else can you show me for cancer? This could be multiple people too. I feel like there's a lot of people talking about you right now. It's just... Yeah, you. I feel like you've walked away from these people to have a new beginning, Cancer. That's really the feeling that I'm getting. What is all this trash talking about? What are? Let's do that. What are people saying about Cancer? Money, that you're very financially stable, that you're sexy, beautiful. <laughs> I doubt they're saying all these great things. It feels like dark energy to me and trash talking. I feel like they're talking about your stability, um, your money, your new beginning. I've got a Knight of Cups here. And um, yeah, look, something is about to change here for you, Cancer. I feel like everything is about to change here, Cancer. 
uh, you've got an Ace of Pentacles, an Ace of Wands, you've got the Knight of Cups coming towards you, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is a big change happening for you, darling. Uh, you're, you're going off to calmer waters, but you're going to be having... Um, you're going to be having a huge, awesome new beginning here. I feel like that you still have some healing to do, Cancer. Um, some of you may even feel sad, like I said, exhausted, drained from all of this. So take some time to do something for you. Maybe um, take a bubble bath or get around water. It's your element, okay? I feel like it's going to drink a lot of water too. Um, but yeah, you're stunning. You're a star. You're in star energy and your life, your whole life is about to change. And there's an offer here coming towards you. All right, so what are, what are these people, what are these people here saying about cancer? What's the trash talk? You're not talking to these people. Yeah, see, here's all the gossip about somebody maybe coming towards you, feeling like a fool. This is your person infiltrating your reading again, Cancer. But there is gossip around you. I feel like you've got this earth angel energy here and somebody wants to commit, can't let go of you. Your person just keeps breaking into your reading, Cancer. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, I feel like no matter what these people are saying about you, Cancer, it's pretty apparent that um, you, you're a person with integrity standing in your strength, your boundaries. You've got your boundaries up. Um, beautiful energy here, okay? Very strong. Um, standing in your truth, okay? You could be like a public speaker, out in the public eye, star energy, living a peaceful life, right? And I feel like these people just don't want to release you. They don't want to let you go. Some of them are just stirring up trouble in the background. But the person that keeps taking over your reading here, Cancer, can't let you go. Um, I feel like it's, it's very apparent that you're being spiritually led here, very intuitive and empath. Um, uh, it's earth angel energy here. And I feel like um, you've been manifesting love. You're getting all of this abundance. You've got all of your stability here, right? Um, you want your Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like there's a person out there that wants to commit to you as well. They're hanging on to your energy here, Cancer. I kind of get the feeling like um, there's so much trash talk around about you that it actually makes people notice you and in noticing you all they see is this beautiful energy earth angel energy stability uh, you're responsible dedicated loyal um, committed to what you're doing building something solid living a peaceful life standing up for integrity i mean every time somebody says something bad about you you can already prove them wrong just by them watching what you're doing. And I feel like with all the trash talk going on around about you, um, your person, this person here, it's making it impossible for them to think about anybody else. Uh, they just can't let you go. I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on about you. Yeah, the, it, this person, it, they're unable to let go of you because of all of the gossip. They hear each little bit of gossip and it just reminds them of you, makes them think about you. This person's unable to let you go because no one can let you go. I mean, let's face it, that they, they, they're still focused on you, Cancer. You're the star. You're the star. And you're out here shining bright, having a new beginning. You're giving them a lot to talk about. You're sexy. You're beautiful. You're living a life of peace. And this person's kind of stuck around all of these people bickering, fighting, trash-talking you. Uh, 
I mean, they couldn't forget about you if they tried because whoever's talking about you keeps reminding them every, like, every time they turn around. <laughs> and now they want you. Uh, there could be other people that may want you too, you know, or this could be the person who's trash talking you. I, I feel like, um, I feel like this masculine energy they just want you back. They're realizing here what they missed out on. And they can't take their eyes off of you now. You're a star. So you're easy to spot, right? You're out in the spotlight. You're out in the spotlight with everybody. Everybody's like chit-chatting about you. There's like three feminine energies here that get together just to freaking talk about you. I don't know who these people are, but... I feel like it's three feminine energies, you know. If you look at this, they're they're all pulling at you. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of gossip about you around your person and they're like they can't take it anymore. It's really it's really um heavy on them, okay? They can't take it. All It's impossible for this person to let you go. And all they can do now is sit here and think, I really did miss out on something awesome, right? That's what they're thinking. I really did miss out on the Queen of Pentacles. I really did miss out on the Ace of Pentacles. I really did miss out on a star um, who's sitting on top of the Wheel of Fortune. I did miss out on this Earth Angel here. This is the person that wants to come in with a love offer. And I feel like this person, they had a choice to make, and all they can think about is you now. Be, and, and honestly, the whole, everybody's focus is on you now. There's so much gossip going on around your person, they can't take it anymore. <laughs> they can't. They can't take it anymore. There's fighting. Um, there's bickering. There's complaining. It's just nothing but chit-chat, chit-chat about you. Yeah, and I feel like that's who this is coming from, is this Queen of Swords. This may be the ringleader here. They don't know if they love you or hate you, Cancer. That's who this person is with right now. And it's driving them buggy. They're crying at night. They can't get away from the gossip. They can't get away from the thoughts of you. They're like stuck between a rock and a hard place here and all they want is their ten of cups that's all they want is happiness all this person wants is to be happy and they know they could have had this ten of cups with you and they ch i feel like they chose this queen of swords energy instead possible air sign and i feel like they juggled you with this person they i feel like this queen of swords is part of this three feminine group here um, that does all the talking about you and they don't have the story right. You know, something isn't right, you know, and it's because you're out here being a star. Star energy is a healer, you know, and uh, people just can't stop talking down about you. I feel like you know all this is going on with your spidey senses, Cancer. You know, uh, you can sense it. There could be secrets here, too. I feel like it's all a big secret. Come on. You know, people out there talking about you behind your back. You're just paying attention to your own stuff. That's it. You're not speaking to these people, and you're not doing it to them. I feel like you're being absolutely silent here. Yeah, it's no secret. You've got haters and you got people who love to hate you. It's not a secret. I don't I, I for, a lot of us are never going to find out what's being said about us. Okay? But I feel like um you're not doing anything here. You're you're not paying any attention to this. Like I said, you are not affected right back to this cuz you're living a dream. You're living a dream life here. Life is but a dream, sweetheart, right? Yeah, and you're making really good money, your abundance. Uh, the, like I said, you're on top of the wheel of fortune here, Cancer. It, the wheel is turning in your favor. It's your turn now to get these opportunities. 
you've worked for it you've put healing energy into the world here you're a healer someone spiritual an empath spiritual healer spiritual teacher a possible divine feminine okay you've put the effort in you've remained strong you've had integrity you haven't said or done anything to these people nothing so you know what it's your turn it's your turn now to succeed and get your abundance and have all these doors of opportunity open and these people are upset some of them hate you some of them love to hate you some of them are in love with you you know but the more you succeed cancer the more haters you're going to have the more people talking about you that you're going to have just keep moving forward you know what i mean yeah see here you go keep moving forward cancer and i feel like that's what you're doing i i feel like you've you know you're you're having a new journey for yourself a brand new abundant beginning here you got people that are ticked off that are gossiping not knowing the full story not knowing some of these people don't even know you okay some of them don't even know you for some of you so of course they don't know what they're talking about but uh, you know whoever this masculine is they're talking non-stop around him and this person can't take it anymore and they're finding out quickly uh, through all of this information the little bits that are correct you know um, that they missed out on a blessing here a true blessing they missed out on a divine feminine an earth angel a star I mean I can't say it enough guys I'm saying it in like every reading um, but that's the energy you know and we're stuck in this kind of energy because uh, these people aren't they're refusing to change and they're refusing to take their focus off of you cancer I feel like there's somebody too in your energy here that's watching the situation for this masculine they could have like a younger person watching you, finding out information about you um, for this masculine. They could even be feeding them um, I, whoever's talking to this masculine. Whoever, and I feel like it's this Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords energy, you know, strong, very intuitive, intelligent person, um, good with communication a lot of the times. But, you know, in immature energy, they're going to be spreading all kinds of lies and uh, um, illusions. Okay, I feel like this is who is feeding this person all this information. And half of it is lies. I feel like they're sitting here because they're, this person's confused. They know that whatever they're in, they hate it, okay? Because it's just, the focus is on you. A lot of gossip, tee hee heeing. These group of women here getting together to have little parties and get togethers just to trash talk you. And they don't even know what they're talking about because you've been keeping your moves hidden. You haven't said a word to these people. You know, so your person, like, this is the burdens that they carry. Okay? Wherever they are, the focus is on you. All they talk about is you. You know? And you're having a new beginning. You're like, I'm outie. Look, in the upright through all of this talking this person a bell goes off like a light goes off in their head oh well if the, everybody is so focused on cancer then maybe cancer is pretty freaking awesome right right they're noticing little things that um, are about you maybe like I said some of these things that they're saying could be true a lot of it isn't though because they don't even know this is illusions and this is a page of swords telling this person a bunch of illusions that's what this is it's gossip it's trash talking you know, and now this, this masculine is seeing everything differently. I feel like um, 
they're about to get themselves unstuck from the situation. They see that they're around a bunch of people who are sabotagers, right? They're about to get backstabbed too by them. They're backstabbers. They're bad mouthers. They're trash talkers. And they're realizing, I can't trust this person either. They're going to start betraying me too. Like for real. They, could, they may have already done it with the Ten of Swords here. This person could already feel very stabbed in the back. They could feel like they got ripped off here because they chose this, all of this crap, and a, and a Page of Swords energy over a star. A star, High Priestess. You could be a tarot card reader out here. Definitely in the public eye, very intuitive, very much an empath, a healer. You're doing something to heal other people, possibly a divine feminine, okay? Light worker stuff here. And this peop this person, like, ding, 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 that, that light goes off in their head. Ah, uh, I just traded my star in for a group of people that can't stop trash talking this star that's that's what they're realizing here wait a minute yeah because they've been fed a bunch of illusions about you i feel yeah they're seeing everything clearly now uh the i feel like somewhere along this gossip right um this page of swords made some kind of mistake where they said something, okay, and it, your person noticed it, and it, like, that's what set the light bulb off, is all this talk about you. They're seeing this from a whole new perspective now, okay, so, yeah, this immature page, and her little group of minions, there's like three feminine energies here that get together. And I, this person just can't take it anymore. I feel like they're at a breaking point. They really are with the Ten of Swords here. This person's at a breaking point. They know this page is that, look, if you notice how everything, look, person missed out on an opportunity at greatness, right? Because they were told something from this page of Swords that was false. Now they're seeing it clearly, okay? And they're realizing that this Page of Swords is sabot they're a sabotager, they're a backstabber. And if this person told lies, which it looks like they did, okay, that means your person was basically backstabbed too because uh, they were duped into losing a star. Do you see how this is lining up? And that means that because of all of this gossip, constant get-togethers to gossip about you. This person can't take it anymore. We've got two tens here, a ten of wands and a ten of swords. They can't take it anymore, and they know that they were either already betrayed by this page of swords or they're going to be. Because that's the kind of, this is the kind of person that they're dealing with. An immature Rumor gossip spreading backstabber. And they're seeing this clearly now. Because of all the constant gossip. Thank you. That's a big fat yes. Thank you. Everything is being, um, is coming to light. Okay. Everything's being illuminated here. The, whatever lies this person said, whatever gossip this person said about you, all of this, um, all the veil is, the clouds are rolling back to expose it all. This person is exposing themselves as somebody who just, a selfish person who just wants to betray. It's all being, the light is being shed on everything. That's why they're like, ding, right? <laughs> they see it all clearly now, this masculine. Yeah, they see it all clearly now, Cancer. All right, so what else can you show me?
Yeah, and you're, like I said, it's easy to see the kind of energy you're in because you are, I feel like you're in the public eye. You could be another tarot card reader out here, a spiritualist, okay? Someone who is about helping other people. Yeah, now they're feeling out in the cold. They, boy, this person is really getting it here. I feel like this person is facing a house move or somebody here. They know they're around someone who, who is either has already betrayed them or is going to be betraying them. You know, this page of swords that they're around could have a lot of other options around them too. I just feel like it's this person who talked uh, crap about you. Yeah, they're feeling pretty beat up over this, okay? They could be very low on their pentacles. This person's suffering karma here. This is a lot of struggling. Financial struggles. This is like pretty much having nothing. Okay? They may not have, they may lose their place to live. They may lose a, a home or a job, their health. Just dealing with this, with this karmic here. And you're out here living a dream life life is but a dream for you okay life is but a dream sweetheart yeah and so now this person wants to come to you and apologize now they're coming towards you cancer to apologize we keep saying it in the readings and it's not just me look at who's on the bot or who's flipped up in the deck where are you i just saw you the empress here you are Flipped up in the deck. This person lost an empress and now they're heartbroken. Yeah, they're coming to apologize to you. You're the empress in the minor arcana here. Okay. Um, remember I said that uh, you're, you've got the ten of pentacles out here. Somebody wanted to come and commit to you. Well, you've got nine pentacles here, Cancer. And here comes the tenth. Your person wants you now. Okay, they can see who it is that they were dealing with. A selfish, immature karmic, okay, who just trashes people behind their back. It's just nonstop betrayal, okay? So uh, they know they want you. You Look, you're showing yourself to the world. You're, you're worthy of a commitment, okay? Uh, I don't know that you need one right now. This is a, you're single out here, not needing anybody. You've got everything you want. Okay. The only thing you don't have is that one pentacle. That's the only pentacle you don't have. Other than that, you're abundant. You're living peacefully. You're being divinely led. You're getting intuitive messages. That's leading you, right? Divine femme who's having a come up. Boss, business owner, possible, uh, entrepreneur right yeah ten of somebody could have had this ten of pentacles and the ten of cups with you now they're heartbroken i feel like they put you in a third party situation and broke your heart too but now they're feeling sad cancer and they want to come in and apologize because they know all that they missed out on here they know it and they're feeling out in the cold they know all they missed out on here, Cancer. Get ready. I, I know I say that, but I, honestly, you know, I'm seeing this person coming towards you. I really am. They know who they've been dealing with here. This karmic has shown their true colors. They can't deal with the gossip about you anymore. They're unable to let you go because it's a constant reminder. Um, and honestly, I feel like this karmic kind of helped to wake this person up because of all of the talk about you. I really do. I think there's something to that. The karmic played a part in this too. Maybe that was their job was to make them see. And I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like with all the trash talk, this person realizes there's no way they can let you go. I mean, you know, they're constantly reminded of you. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps, and I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. 
And until next time, Cancers, take care of you, my darlings, and peace out.